This will be a very brief overview of Adobe's Lightroom application, and it uh, is really designed just to give you a brief look at the program, not as a how-to kind of tutorial. Uh, it is best used uh, accompanied by the handout that was made for Lightroom. So there's a, a PDF, a 29-page PDF, in fact, that will give you a detailed look at, at the most useful features of Lightroom for our application for the class that you're taking. Uh, Lightroom is a companion to Photoshop where Photoshop is really designed uh, around images, single images and adjusting and fixing and changing images. Lightroom is designed um, for editing a collection of images and also for keeping those collections organized. So while it has some ability to edit individual photos that I'll show you, and can be used as a standalone, uh, the power of Lightroom is really in the way it collects and um, catalogs images for you. So this tutorial will go through um, many of, though not all of the features of Lightroom, and you can get an introduction and look at the tools, how you would catalog, how you would import images. And again, as you're working through this tutorial, uh, just as with the Photoshop tutorial, there are some short video um, clips that will go over specific skills. So if you want to learn uh, more about using the catalog, for example, uh, clicking on that link will take you to um, some Lightroom tutorials. Uh, most of them are just a couple of minutes long, some are a little bit longer, um, how to use the catalog, how to search. Uh, various tools within Lightroom. So all of that is available um, within this PDF and so you can go and work your way through it. Um, hopefully it makes sense. What I want to do in this video is just give you a brief overview of how that all works. So if we come back to Lightroom, uh, you can see that it gives you this grid view of existing images. It also allows you to import directly from the card from your camera or from your phone. So for example, I've inserted a card into my computer and uh, I'm going to uh, walk you through how you might do that. Uh, in this case, I'm going to create a destination for these photos. I've got my own system for doing things. You might save them to an external hard drive. You might save them all to a single folder. I'm going to save them into this folder. Uh, because I've put a card in, I want to copy those images. So they're going to copy them off the card. I could um, add file naming, I could create all sorts of uh, data that I would attach to the photos, uh, captions, I could rename them, do any of that, and then I would just click import. Um, and then you can see up here it's going to start copying those photos uh, into a folder that I created and also create a catalog. Uh, that is both searchable and navigable um, of all of my photos. So you could use Lightroom to catalog every photo that you've taken. If you've already got a lot of photos, you can still build that catalog uh, using Lightroom as well. From within there, you can, uh, these are all uh, pictures from my garden. I was playing around this afternoon. Uh, you can take individual photos. Uh, you can double click on them and look at them up close in what's called the loop view. You can come over and add a caption. So if you uh, want a caption in Photoshop, that's fine. But you can also caption in Lightroom. Um, and then within Lightroom, you can start making adjustments. So while Photoshop allows very specific, detailed kinds of corrections, I could go in and adjust just the, you know, this petal of the flower. And then it obviously also allows for uh, manipulating and changing backgrounds and creating very elaborate illustrations. Lightroom is more about uh, just adjusting globally an individual image. So you would come over to this develop tab and then you would have, uh, it, it goes a little bit slow while you're still importing, but much quicker once all the images are, are imported. Um, in the develop tab, you can come in and make adjustments to uh, tones and some basic adjustments. And all of this is outlined in the handout. And of course, there's obviously online tutorials as well, but you can come in and adjust colors, uh, lighten, darken, those kinds of things, adjust contrast. All of that is available in this um, basic tab over here. There's tones and curves you can explore. You can convert to black and white. You can work on details and then special effects and those kinds of things. One of the very nice things about um, Lightroom is none of the changes you make are permanent. So anything you do to this image in terms of adjusting in Lightroom can be undone, and that's not true in Photoshop. Uh, when you're done in Lightroom, when you've worked on an image and, and uh, gotten it the way you like it, you would then export it from Lightroom um, using export, 
and you could export that to a specific folder. You could make it a JPEG uh, down here. You could save it in another file format. Once you export it, you've applied those changes. The exported version would be permanently changed, adjusted the way you wanted it, but you could always go back into Lightroom and um, and undo what you've done and, and adjust it again from the start. So Lightroom is a really powerful program. Um, for our, our use, you could do most of what you need to do in Lightroom and perhaps never use Photoshop unless you had a particular image that needed um, extra work on it. Um, you could also choose not to use Lightroom at all and do all of your work within Photoshop. So the two programs complement each other. They certainly overlap in what they do, but they also serve two very different functions. Uh, Lightroom is a great way to keep a catalog and organize all your photos if you've got a lot of images and then also make adjustments where Photoshop really is the program for um, doing detailed and uh, complicated kinds of adjustments to photos. Um, if there's an image inside of Lightroom that you want to do additional work on, you can always come and um, uh, edit it within Photoshop and combine the power of the two programs together. So both gro both programs are available to use. Uh, both have complete tutorials in, in PDF format with some accompanying video tutorials. Um, the best way to learn to use them is to just dive in and start exploring. And then if you've got questions, let me know or, or use our friend Google. So I hope that helps give you a, a brief look at what the potential for using Lightroom could be for your particular needs and workflow.